toy here. So we're gonna pretend that I've been here all year, never missed a post, and you guys are all up to date. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not even gonna try to make excuses. Um, I have a whole new kind of vision for what I'm gonna do moving forward. I'm not gonna try to set unrealistic expectations and make promises that I can't keep. And I've accepted that my channel is just never gonna have the video quality as other channels, which is what has kept me from trying to record. I'm just gonna do what I can do and keep it moving. But I did want to share something pretty cool with you guys, so that's why I'm here today. Um, I do have another YouTube channel I created for my Lit Carnival idea trying to put a together put together a book fair in Hampton Roads and I've posted a few videos there but like no one's following that channel yet so I have been doing stuff throughout the year on um, that channel and I've done some stuff on my Instagram trying you know some things I just have completely neglected this channel thought you guys deserve something pretty cool so thank you if you're still there and if not I totally get it so over the weekend I went to a, a local author event I think I have a, yep, here's the flyer. It was called the Seven Cities Book Fest 2019, black, white, red, all over. And um, for you who don't know what the Seven Cities is, I live in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia, also known as Tidewater, and it's comprised of seven cities, so that we refer to ourselves as the Seven Cities. Um, area code 757, you know the deal. So uh, it was a whole like weekend of, of events. Um, I think a lot of it was geared towards authors, but um, readers could also participate. I had work obligations, so I wasn't able to participate as an author, but I did show up for the free um, book signing vendor part of the session, um, which was what is what I'm gonna share with you, like all the really great stuff that I got there. So I was there as a reader, as a customer, and so it was really a lot of fun. There were a few people there who knew I was a writer and like told other people that I was a writer. So I did hand out a few business cards, but I totally was just there to be a fan. And for the most for the most part, everyone thought I was just there because I was a book lover and I was buying stuff because I am a book lover. So I'm gonna show you some of the extremely cool stuff that I got. So here's the first, this is a tote. It's really cute, one of the authors there. Let me go ahead and give her a shout out. She um, gave me some other really cool stuff. I'm going to pull it out here. She gave me this really cool night light. Just screw the top off and there's a, an LED like candle light in there. And it, and I did, um, I haven't tried it out yet, but she was like, you just pull the tab and it makes it a, to a great night light. So I'm really excited about that. And um, let's see here. I know there was some other really cute stuff she gave me. This is a keychain. It's a boot. And there's some chapstick inside of it. And for those of you who don't know, I'm originally from Texas. So when I saw this little cowboy boot, I was like, oh my goodness, that's so cute. And then I know there's one more thing in here if I can find it. Um, of course, while I'm looking for it, I'm not going to be able to find it. Uh, I haven't decided if it's a bookmark or a bracelet, but either way, I think it's really cute. Oh yeah, here it is. So I think it's a bracelet because it has these little clasps on it that actually hold it together. But if you open it up, it could actually be a bookmark, I guess. Either way, I really like it. So that's what I got from her. And what I did, I want to share with you guys. Uh, you can tell I haven't done a video in a while because I didn't plan this out all that well. So um, I did buy some like physical books while I was there. But one thing that I did is if I wanted to like buy someone's book, but it, I had a budget, y'all. I had to have a budget. But if it wasn't really in my budget, what I did was I would download the ebook right there so they could see it. I would show, the, show them the book on my Kindle. And like here, I'm going to put the screen up. Here's some of, you can't see it because of my bad lighting. But I, I downloaded like seven ebooks while I was there. I think two of them were free, but the rest of them I paid for. So anyway, so whenever I would download an ebook, I would have the author sign like a bookmark or something for me. And so one of the things, and I'm gonna get to it, jumping ahead of myself, there's so much going on. So the whole point of me saying all of that was, she didn't just throw all this stuff at me, like I downloaded some of her books. And so, oh yeah, this was another cute little thing. This is one of her books. And it's um, actually like a notepad. And I thought that was really cute. That's a good 
marketing item. I might try that myself. And I think I think that might have been it. And she gave me some flyers for some other really cool Excels and stuff that were coming up. So that that was like the first thing. Um, and so where is it? I have all of these like awesome postcards that I picked up. If you've been to these things, you know there's postcards galore. There's something for everyone. Some of them are really cool. So I collected a whole bunch of those. What? Let's see. Oh, I got a packet of seeds at one of the tables. Again, I, I downloaded this woman's book. So I got a packet of seeds. And I'm actually allergic to a lot of um, plants. So we kind of went through and found, like, I'm not allergic to baby's breath. She's like, here, try this one. And I was like, yep, yeah, I got it. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. So this book is an anthology that a lot of the authors who were there contributed to and it's based on I think they said um, a knickknack store or a bookstore something like that in the Outer Banks which is close to the seven cities and um, so I downloaded the ebook but then I had any of the contributing authors who were at the event went through and had them sign because this is what's called a chapbook so you get like um, depending upon how extensive it is, these little books will give you the first chapter of a book. I'm assuming because this is a con um, from an anthology, you get like the first page of each story. And so all the different authors who were at the event who contributed to it signed this for me. Like I was so excited about this. So that was that was fun. And then um, let's see here. I got a, a mirror. Who's, who gave me the mirror? This is Dawn. Oh, I can't read the it's cursive writing. I gotta get better at that, but that's really cool. I got that. Um, ooh, I don't remember who gave me the tea, but I like tea. I got some tea, some more chapstick. Yeah, a lot, lot of cool stuff in this bag. I got more though. Got more though. Like I said, this is a really cool event. I want to put all my goodies back in the bag. I'm gonna do something with them later. And I do want to go ahead and just give a shout out to um, author Allie Marie because she's the one who told me all about the event. She was really trying to get me in. It just didn't work out. But once I got there, um, it was great to like chat with her. So here's, I got another tote. I'm trying to pick it up for you. This was, I don't know if you can see that. So this was actually from an editor. She was there kind of marketing her services to the different authors who were there. And she, I actually did tell her I was a writer because I'm like, I'm going to take your information because you never know. And so this, people, is my stack of pens and bookmarks that I collected. And a lot of these are signed because I got books from the pe from these people. So there's, there's a lot of really cool stuff here. This little thing... I, I, it could be a bookmark. I'm not sure. I think it's actually a fashion accessory. I was wearing it on my clothes. <laughs> I was. I had it like strapped to like my scarf or whatever. You can put it in your hair. Do whatever you want with it. I just thought it was really cute. Uh, and one of the authors who I had her book, I signed. Oh, I just remember something. Okay, so again, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos and I'm rambling and I'm so sorry. But I want to show you something. So there's an author that I follow and anyone who sort of follows me or knows me knows that I'm a big fan of Chris Fay. Now Chris Fay was in um, an anthology about the um, raid on Area 51 and she of course told all of her fans about it and I immediately went out and um, downloaded a copy. I'm gonna show here's the cover of it. I meant to read it in October and that didn't happen so started reading it in November and I literally have like two more stories to go I just um, obviously have been busier than usual so the whole point of me saying that well there were two authors at this event who contributed to that anthology and I walked up to their table and I was like oh my goodness I can't believe this because 
I'm reading that right now and one of them I was able to like quote lines from the story that she wrote because I really enjoyed her story so I had um they didn't have a bookmark for that one but they just had like another bookmark and they both of it, the authors signed that and that was that was really cool so I wanted to show you some of the print books that I bought at the event so I don't know if you guys know hmm, that's my doggy you might hear her making funny noises so what I do, I used to be a teacher, so now I work as an ABA therapist. So that means I work with children with special needs, lots of kids on the spectrum. My dog's trying to beat me up. Anyway, so this is one book that, I, hey, stop it. <laughs> so this is one book that I got, um, wanted to show you that. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, I'll take that. And um, this is another one that I picked up. This one I thought was really cool it's based it's a um, historical fiction about an HBCU and how it got formed and I thought just the idea of the story was so cool like this is actually the prequel to the series I think there's like three books in the series there might be another one but anyway I'm very excited about this book and then <laughs> this book I, I almost didn't get it because I, I wasn't crazy about the title but after speaking to the author, and I mean, I love the cover design of the book. Excuse me, let me just, let me just show you. The, this, <laughs> so, a couple of things. Um, it, you know, it's diverse. Um, it, I, this story takes place in Dallas, which I thought was just so funny because I'm originally from Dallas. And so I was talking to the author, and she's like, oh, I'm curious to get some feedback. She's like, I, no one who's actually from that area has, like, given her feedback on it. So I guess I'll read it and tell her if I felt like it really was Dallas um, that she was writing about. So so that was that was my, my adventures at the Seven Cities Book Fest. And it was a good experience just for me to kind of, since I have this, you know, dream and this goal of making lit carnival my book fair become a reality it was nice to see an event like that like that that part like i didn't see like i said i didn't see the whole like weekend and everything like that it was just there for that one part and just the, the way the authors like conducted themselves and interacted with those of us who were there to like buy books and everything it was really cool um i ended up downloading like i think i said seven ebooks that day two of them were free but i paid for the rest and this, and the whole point is me like going to this event because, like I said, I wasn't there set up as an author. I wasn't selling anything, you know, um, was just to be supportive to the other authors. And that's all part of this movement that I'm trying to start with Read Local. And so I'm not going to make this video last too much longer, but I did start something um, that I hope to share soon. I'm going to be touring local bookstores and interviewing some of the owners and managers and I've gotten my first one completed I want to try to get at least four more before I start trying to put together an actual season because I'm hoping to make this like a, a thing and so anyway that's what I've been doing you know it is what it is this year didn't kind of pan out the way I hoped but there's always next year and I promise not to be gone so long and that's all I have bye for now